now that I have the circuit ready, let's create the routing. I already configured the size of the routes and the spacing. First of all, let's try to put as much as possible on the top layer. Let's start. It's now trying to find as much as possible. I see 190%. Yes, this is good enough. And now let's put the rest, which is just one line, on the bottom layer. Continue. And I have one which is good. Okay, now that I've created everything, let's see how we can add the milling. I'll go to the line tool. I'll select the milling layer. I'll make sure that I enter the size of my uh, milling tool. I enter that, which is one millimeter for me. And I'll create the milling path. I also leave some small uh, uncut parts so it will be stable until the entire board is cut out. Okay, I now see that I can move this a little bit more. Uh, actually, let's try to do this again with some custom shapes. Let's continue with the line. Let's add it like this. And let's cut the corner here. Let's put it like this. Okay. Come here and this is it. It looks much nicer. Let's finish this. Okay. This one looks absolutely perfect for my needs and now I can run the script which will be generating the g-code open and accept and make my board because I already have my settings created it's now generating the g-code I can see the top layer now it's generating for the bottom layer which only has one line i can see this one too and now i can see the drill path so exactly how i've created it this is for the top mill as i can see here and another one should be built for the bottom okay in this case i will mill the bottom first because it has a lot of less traces just one trace and then i'll flip the board and mill the top part to make sure that most of the lines will be aligned correctly and i also mill the top 